This is another video in the series on how to use Evernote and this video will look at clipping content from web pages and creating notes for your Evernote account. And um, I'm using the desktop version of Evernote on a Mac uh, in the Safari browser but all these techniques will work just as well with Windows uh, computers and Internet Explorer or Firefox or Chrome or Safari. Uh, at the moment I'm in Safari and I'm, I've got a web page and I have a, a story here, an article here that I might want to collect and keep as a note. Um, I have got some web clippers installed but even before we show you how to use that, the simplest way to clip content is when you find something, if I wanted that whole page, I can right click anywhere on that page and it gives me some options for what I can do with that content in Evernote. So I can save the full page. I can just save the URL, the, uh, the top part there. And that would just give me in the note just this with the story details. Um, I could create a new note in Evernote. So if I just selected save full page, it's now clipping that page. It's syncing this content with the online Evernote account. And every, everything goes through that online Evernote account. And, and it comes up with other notes that might be related that you, you might want to do something with. Uh, I can edit that, I can view it. At this stage I might just close it and then go to my account on the web. And this is my Evernote account online. Maybe reload that page to see if there's been any new content that has synced into it. So this is reloading the Evernote um, account loading the data and all notes and there's the one we just clipped girl tells Pippa I hate princesses so I can tap and click into that and then perhaps change because it's put it into a, a, def, a no it hasn't put it into my default notebook like it should it's just stick, stuck it into paperless so I can then decide what notebook I want to put this in and I might just leave it into the inbox because I don't know where else I want to put it. Uh, it gives me the uh, URL and it gives you the whole page. So the whole page is there including the video that comes with it. And to me, I mean, that's you know, really useful but a whole page is probably too much content for what I really wanted there. I can adjust things here and should be able to put some tags in there but can't see where from here. Then done to complete it. Uh, a better way, if we went back to that original page, I could also just highlight the content I want. So perhaps I just want that bit. Right click it. And save selection to Evernote. And now again it's, it's syncing it and it's just giving me a note with just that content, not all the rest of the stuff around it, all the videos and all the ads. Uh, it's sort of a bit hit or miss this way. What you really need to do is install a web clipper into your browser. So to do that, you go to the Evernote main page and you sign in. And from there, there is a web clipper. So it's at the bottom of the evernote.com web clipper. And it depends what browser you're on. The, the Evernote site has recognized that I'm on a Safari browser. So it's offered the, me the link for the Web Clipper for Safari. And when I install that as a, an extension, what I get is this little elephant up here into the toolbar, which is the Evernote Web Clipper. And I can uh, save selections, save pages, save URLs straight into the Evernote account by just clicking this. And we'll, we'll look at how you do that shortly. There is other 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 um, browsers as well. If I was to go onto Firefox, and we'll do that in a minute, and uh, download the browser extension for Firefox, it would then give me the ability to clip content using Firefox. I can also drag a bookmarklet from here into my bookmarks. So it's to install it, drag it to the bookmarks bar. I have the bookmarks bar here. There's the bookmarks bar. This is the, the, the bookmarks, all of the bookmarks, but there is also a bookmarks bar, which is meant just to have a few things on, but mine seems to have accumulated. 
So if I went back to here and I dragged the bookmarklet up to the bookmarks bar and go to a, another page and say so I again wanted this selection, I could then hit this on the bookmark bar, which then opens a note for me to be able to clip it. So it gives me the title, it gives me the, the URL, I can add some, some text in here if I wanted to explain to myself why I'm, why I'm um, clipping it. I can put my tags in, I can select a different uh, notebook, it's going to go into the inbox. So I'll let it go into there. I haven't got any tags in at the moment, but I'll just say done. And then that is clipped. So, I mean, that's a quick way of doing it. Wherever browser you're on, there'll be a bookmark that you can drag into your bookmarks bar. And wherever you are, you can then grab that content. The, the other way, though, is to actually add it into your, so let's go to Firefox, add it into the actual browser. Uh, and what it, it will appear in your, in your um, browser, somewhere you will, you will look for this little elephant, which is the the icon for the web clipper. So to do edit to Firefox, we go into web clipper, it now recognizes that I'm using Firefox and I want to get the web clipper for Firefox. And so all I need to do is click add to Firefox and that's going to install that extension into Firefox and allow me then to clip content using the web clicker in Firefox. So let's just let it install. It's not long to go. While it's doing that, let's go to a different page to clip something. So I go back to the same page. Uh, yes, I do want to install it. So it's given me an opportunity to opt out that I will install the web clipper. It's now an extension. Uh, all right, I need to restart Firefox. So let's just do that. Once, once it comes back up, I can check that it's in there by going into, look at my add-ons, so into the tools, add-ons, and my extensions. So I should have one there for Evernote Web Clipper, and I can put some preferences in. So I want to send the clips to, at the moment I, I've got two options, I can send them to the, the desktop clients, uh, or to the web, and I think I prefer them to go to the web, but at least then everything's all synchronized from the, from the main um, account and then the uh, desktop can sync to the web option. Um, Evernote Web Clipper option, so you can uh, decide how you want it to be clipped and what um, your default notebooks will be, so smart filing, so will it select a notebook and tags for you based on the, on the uh, choice that page you're clipping wrong, so you can, you can um, change all that. I want to have my clips go into the default notebook, so I'm going to save all that in my options and then go to a page so 9 MSN which has just got a whole lot of news stories on and um, let's pick an article that perhaps I might want to keep I don't want the video but I wouldn't mind the actual content so my bookmarklet is up here or my um, web clipper is here so if I wanted to take that and click it, then I need to sign into my Evernote account. And remember me, let's sign in. Now I just want that section so you can see it's just highlighted. And it's going into my inbox. It's giving me the name of the article. And I might perhaps put tags in. I don't know, put teachers or something. And again, I can add a comment if I wanted to. And that's now gone into my Evernote account. So if I went back to the Evernote.com. And look at my account online. There's the actual note there. It's gone into my inbox. So we're in the all notes at the moment, but it's now in the inbox. So these are all the, the, very, the various notes that I've already clipped. So it's here. And then I can have a look at it 
and hitting the pencil there I can edit the tags and the notebook uh, before finally saving it so I might decide to put it into a different notebook or leave it in inbox for the moment uh, putting a tag up here so it's going into the inbox so I might put in a tag of I don't know teachers or something and if I then search for these are all my notebooks I'll just this do that and there should be a, a tag here for teachers there it is there there's the note and I can now move it around I can change the tags I can do whatever I like with it and that's just by using the web clipper so if we went back to an, to a, uh, another page and without doing anything to it, not selecting any content, just hit that, it's going to take the whole page, or it's still taking the article. Uh, clip the article, clip the full page, I can decide in there what I want, I want to take the whole page this time, and you can see the yellow. They seem to work differently in different browsers, some, some browsers it seems to work a little, little more cleanly than others, but you can use uh, and install it as an extension or an add-on into Chrome, into Internet Explorer, into Safari, into Firefox, and in all of them if you want to. In Safari, when I right-click the page, it doesn't give me the same sorts of, of options as it did with Safari. It just gives me a, a little uh, right-facing triangle so I can clip the page, I can clip the URL, I can do a new note. If I highlight a section, right click it, add to Evernote, you can still clip selection. So you can still do the same things there. We wanted to do a new note, add to Evernote, new notes. And it's actually going to take me into the, the Evernote online um, program where I can create just a note about anything. It's not going to take any of the content from that page, but it's allowing me to create a note. So maybe I want to do a whole lot of uh, a... Uh, some notes to myself and create a new note and I can decide where I want it to go put in a URL of the page like the 9MSN page and create a new note that way and done and that's just creating a new note adding a title for my note okay do a title okay and doing a title let's call it test done uh, and so that's a, another way of just creating a whole new note that's just going into your Evernote account. Uh, when you go back into your Evernote account, it's going to sync. And you know, in, within a few seconds, you'll find everything w that you've done will be there. All notes. There's my test note. It's my TV presenter one. So all the notes I've done are there. And it's quite quick. With uh, If we went back to the... Evernote Web Clipper. Let's go back and look at the other browsers. There is a bookmarklet here. We're now in Firefox, so I can drag that to my links bar. So it'll go in here. It doesn't go in that one. Drag it into the bookmarks bar. So I have to have the bookmarks bar visible. When you install Evernote into a desktop, and in this case I've installed uh, Evernote onto the Mac, and that gives me in the menu bar a way to clip pages so there are many ways to clip content so this is one way when you install it onto your desktop by clicking the elephant I can actually do a new note right from the menu bar or paste information to Evernote do a full screen an audio note uh, find something in Evernote or clip a rectangle so if I wanted just a portion of this page so just that little bit there I can just highlight that and immediately it puts it into a note. That's a screenshot. It puts it into the inbox because that's my default notebook. And then I can put a, a tag. Um, I don't know, drugs, because it's got drugs in, the, in the, uh, the headline. And close that. Then when I go back to Evernote, it should be, and I sync it so that Everything I've done from the internet is now being synced with the web version of the Evernote account and should also be into here. There it is, a screenshot. A 
drug kingpin. There's a couple of them I've done. So it puts it straight into your inbox, which from there you can put it into a different notebook, add different tags, or delete it. And that's what I'm going to do with both of these. Delete them.